Hey, what's going on? This is Oren again with MathRap.com, and today I'm going to show you all of the skips that we know of in Don't Look Down so you can get your speed running on and get done the fastest possible. So I'm excited for this one, but before that, I'm going to buy one of these new cosmetics that are in the shop right now. So let's go with that real quick. Alright, I see that we got the, the, the turducken right there. And we got the dude with the with the little straw in his mouth. Now, I don't know how he got a straw in his mouth. Alright, we got some corn right there. Corn-tastic. Alright, but anyway, let's go ahead and get these. And then we're going to get into the uh, speed running skips that you could use to be successful. And especially even if you just want to win the game, you know, like... Or impress your friends with these different skips. All of these stuff, all these things will make you really uh, popular amongst those who play Game Kit, especially in the classroom. They're gonna be bamboozled. They might even think you're hacking with what you're about to be shown how to do. And all of these are doable. None of these really require a lot of fancy things, other than a little bit of timing and a little bit of uh, practice and you could just be successful with it. And when I say a little bit, I literally mean a little bit of practice. Now, if you want to be a perfect speed runner, yes, you got to do all these different skips all at the same time and be successful at them. But if you just want to show off, you don't got to do all that. Just do a few of them or just one of them. You know, it's up to you. Anyway, let's go. Now, this first skip that I found I, I literally found this for myself. Now, I don't know, maybe people have shown it or said they can do it. But anyway, look at this. This is not with the speed boost either. This is just me kind of jumping off the edge. It's not really a boost. Let's look back at this again. Look, I just jumped, bam, and then I can pass over those two stairs. Like, those stairs typically make, uh, make things go a lot slower. So, it's cool that that's there. Now, here's the barrel skip. We know the barrel skip very well. You jump on one barrel. You don't do that one. And then you go to the third one and keep it rolling. But there's also the tr double barrel skip. You could jump from that bottom barrel and then jump up and land onto the other wheel bar barrels and skip two in at the same time. All right, so let's jump over here. Good. All right, so this one is the next little skip. It's not really that big of a deal, but it's here. You know, I just wanted to show you that. You just double jump to those platforms. They don't, they're not really necessary for you to, you know, uh, jump on every single thing. All right, I'm going to go across here. Boom. All right, you can skip around here. Typically, uh, speed boosts are needed to skip some certain things and I'm not going to show you too many speed boosty things these are just regular skips so I jump on the chair and just jump up to the platform a lot of people know about that one but it's all good now this is mine I typically do I don't really see a lot of people doing what I do with this maybe it's more time consuming I don't know or it doesn't use a lot of time but I just keep running I don't stop I don't I just hold my finger on the left arrow key and just jump when I need to jump. I double jump there to get up there. Uh, I just double jump really quickly to get the height, but not the distance, so I won't fall. Then this is the same thing what I do right here. I kind of double jump quickly, so I get the dis uh, get the height, but not really the distance, and I won't fall down. If you're really careful, you can do this very well. All right, so this is the next big one. It's called the black hole or the electro jump where you just use your momentum and run across and jump, jump, bam. Now, this is a slow motion version of it. It's almost like you Mario right now. Wah, woo hoo, wee hee hee, boom. But you can also do it with no momentum. Now, let me show you, you can even be really close with no momentum and still jump up there. Like, that's something I didn't know, black hole, when he was telling me, he's like, you need momentum, I understand that. I wanted to see if it could be done, and it was doable. So, you know, I think it's just more difficult. 
but your timing just needs to be good. You don't need to coyote jump. You can just jump up there, right? Like, just make sure you're not in coyote time when you're jumping, and I think you get higher hops. All right. Let's get past all of this stuff. The next one I'm going to show you are at the uh, horizontal platforms. The basketballs, you know, okay, well, yeah, that's a little skip right there. Little one just jumping from the uh, basketball goal, skipping the bottom tubes or tires and going up there. That's cool. Uh, let's jump up here. These are where you can get a nice boost and skip from one platform to the other. You can get a boost right there and do an Omega jump, but I'm not doing that. Just regular jump, run a jump. Your timing has to be okay. You might need a little momentum for that bottom one, and yeah. This one right here is also momentum used, but I'm showing you how you can do it just by standing still real quick. You can stand still and actually skip that little platform down there and still make that jump. Now most speedrunners, I'm assuming they're not gonna wanna stand still to make a jump. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to make that jump, even without running. You don't need to have speed and boosting and all that stuff. Now look at this. This is what people don't typically do. They don't typically run over the, the that little gap. All right, so now we're in the farm chain area full of skips over here. Quite a few little skips that I want to show you, like the pumpkin skip right here. This is the pumpkin skip. You can just jump up, land on a pumpkin, land on another one, and be good. Another one is under here. That's the under the microscope skip and the corn skip. So elegant. Flawless victory. Anyway, let's keep it going. We're gonna skip a little bit of that, jump there. Now, this is what I saw Roblox Quarter Clipper do. So I wanted to practice this. Just drop, like, use your coyote time and then jump up from there. Like, you could still jump and double jump. So that was kind of cool to try out. You can skip that whole bottom piece. Josh said he intended for that to be there. All right, we can jump up here and do a skip of two platforms. And jump up to the next one using the momentum from the first one. Or you can just, you know, I think you can do it without a lot of momentum. All right, now we're in the snowy survival area with a, a plethora of skips right here. Boom that look at this did like three skips in a man anyway now this is the skip that the speed runners of black hole you know discovered it did so you don't need momentum here it just seems like you would but you don't need really momentum you could use momentum to get up there if you're speed running but you don't need it you, you uh it's similar to the to that uh Fishtopia skin. Okay, so going here, the next skip is these uh, are these uh, snowmen. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and show you how to skip that second snowman, so you can keep it rolling while they hating. So you jump on the one hat. You use a little bit of momentum and get across like that. The skip to my loo, like right there, and then you're de you're done. Now you can skip a piece of the tree and all that stuff. Slide down the thing, jump up, boom, boom. But yeah, now here go, here we go, right, right here. Stage six, <laughs> summit six. Wow. Jump, jump on these things. This is where you get your next skip right here. These plant vessels. They're hard to uh, manage, but you just use a little momentum. You can just go straight across. Hold the arrow key. Don't try to land on it. Just use the arrow key. Then hold it. Go going across. All right. All right, we're going to keep it rolling. Go, bo, bo, bo. All right, the next skip uh, I look forward to seeing because uh, I'm just, just talking as I go. You already know th these chairs are going to be a skip. Typically, you get some form of momentum boost if you're running and jumping. I'm holding the arrow key as I'm going, just jumping across. You might get a little something, little boost, big boost, something to make you skip a couple of platforms or something, all right? So that's, that's that. Let's keep it going. Now this is called 
the I don't know if anyone else did this, but this is the the mass drive triple skip until someone else claims it. This is called the triple skip. You gotta use impeccable timing. The lasers last for five seconds. Count to five. Bo count to five, and on the number when you say four, jump. Just jump. Then boom, boom, and boom. You hit three of them mugs at one time, and you save yourself some time on that laser. But you just gotta make sure you count to five on the laser, so you know your impeccable timing has to be impeccable. But you could do it too. I mean, it's not hard. None of this stuff is like challenging. It's just having it all together in one run is the challenge part. Now here's the next skip, running through five lasers. Boom. If you know you can count to five, boom, you got it. And now you're going to count to five again. You can count to five and know how far you can go with these lasers. Have a plan in your head while you're waiting on the lasers. Like I plan to run up and jump up there already in the cut. Yeah, fly up there, boy. Boom. Now I plan on running up, jumping up, and dropping down in that next part. So I'm just counting to five, did my thing. Now I plan on leaving. I plan on escaping the lasers right now. So boom, boom, and boom. Count to five, and you got it. As long as you count to five and kind of jump ahead of time, you got it. Now you're at the end of the stage. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this helped you. Please like and subscribe, and have a great rest of the day guys